Will the term, with all due respect, save you? It will not. <laughs> In caveats, this article and then, uh, and, and I don't want the enlisted to think they get off scot-free and they can talk bad about the president. They still can't. There's still some AFIs out there that say like, hey, this is bad. You can't do it. And so it'll still be a violation of Article 92. So there's still a lot of a ways to hold people accountable. Don't worry. You're, you weren't forgotten. It's just Congress. <laughs> when they were writing this, they were more worried about their officers. Hey, uh, I got to ask the question. I got to ask the question because there's some airmen somewhere that is like, we're just wondering like, hey, hey, you said this and it says that right there. It's in black and white. So I had to ask that question. The uh, With all due respect, if that'll save you. No, it won't. <laughs> This article, and then you'll see again, I, I believe it's article, I think it's the very next one, article 89, or it, it could be article 90, uh, that talks about uh, disrespect towards superiors. And then it talks about, you know, disrespect towards superior officers or superior non-commissioned officers and senior non-commissioned officers. So there's those articles as well in there, and they all include this same provision, which is truth is no defense. 100%. Yep, and that's oh. That, that, that goes back to the, those first few years of me being humbled over and over and over. I'm just like, yo, you don't have enough stripes to talk like that. You, you know? Yeah, you're older. Yeah. Yeah. There, there was my first flight, the, the LT, the flight commander, my supervisor, who is the NCOIC, and me were all the same age. So it was one of those weird situations where you're just like, well, I mean, fortunately, we were a, an awesome team. You know, we all got along great. You know, it was a fantastic team. And that was my first flight, you know, being part of the, the real Air Force. And I mean, I couldn't have asked for a, a better team. But it was just one of those situations where, especially, like I said, for older airmen coming in, it's just like, yo, you need to check yourself real quick. Because there are people, there are airmen, you know, 18, 19 year olds that are going to know more about the Air Force life than you. So, you know, definitely you need to check yourself and learn to just hopefully if life hasn't taught you by this point being older, that sometimes you just need to shut the fuck up, then, I mean, you need to. Well, and so that's one of the things I, I love about the fact that Congress decided to add truth is no defense to it because that that it's like warning labels on cups right caution this may be hot you know caution don't don't eat this battery you know whatever the case may be it means someone did it at some point mm -hmm. so i'm just imagining in my head that someone is getting court-martialed for saying something bad about their supervisor maybe uh, my my commander is is an asshat okay sure you shouldn't say that that's bad and they will hold on it's true and then had a parade of people to testify that that individual was an asshat that's what I imagine happening, and I find that fantastic. But so Congress came back and said, nah, truth is not a defense. You still can't say that type of thing. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that clip from the exchange over at our channel, Wild at Heart Association. This is a podcast-style interview format that we recently started, and we hope you guys are enjoying it. Be sure to check that out. Give that video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you like what we're doing here at Wild at Heart.